Hey guys, so as a person who likes to do voices, who has great respect for voice actors and everything they do in their line of work, despite political affiliation and their views, it's not easy doing voice acting, uh, especially when you're on shows like uh, Dragon Ball Z or anywhere, uh, any kind of show where you're required to scream for about 30 seconds, and you may say, oh, that's, that's easy. Okay. Click the video, uh, pause the video, and try to scream as loud as you can and hold it for 30 seconds. Yeah, it's not easy. You have to train your lungs to do that shit. So I have great respect for the voice acting community and everyone in it. This lovely lady right here, this is Laura Bailey. And you might know her from Dragon Ball Z. She plays uh, Kid Trunks, um, Yu Yu Hakusho. She plays uh, Keiko. Uh, if you're a World of Warcraft fan, that's Jaina Proudmoore right there. She also did uh, Daughter of the Sea, the song Daughter of the Sea for the Warbringers, the little trilogy. Um, she's gorgeous, she's talented, and never had the privilege of meeting her myself, but many people say she's like one of the sweetest people ever. And like I said, despite political affiliation and all that, she seems like a very genuine person. She's very nerdy. Her... Uh, Matthew Mercer and a bunch of other um, people get together. They do like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff like that. So she's just a big nerd. Uh, but she's a very attractive nerd. Um, so that is the fabulous Laura Bailey. This is Abby. You might know her from such things as The Last of Us Part 2, where she kills Joel within like, what, two hours uh, of, of the game? Laura Bailey voices Abby. That is all the connection she has to this character. She is the voice actress of Abby. That's all. She didn't have any input of the character. She didn't say, oh, well, I don't think Abby would do this. Or I think the person, you know, I think her character should be like, no. Voice acting is all she did. Now, there are some conditions, and some situations where a voice actor does have input on a character character that has been long running Sean Schimmel uh, Sean Schimmel Schimmel however you, people pronounce it different ways it's Sean Schimmel but um, he voices Goku so if they get a script and there's a line or something who better to change that line than the guy who's been voicing Goku since what the early 2000s he knows the character inside and out so he can make changes to the character because he knows that character Laura she doesn't know the character. She's first time voicing him, her. So she can't say, oh, well, I don't think she would do this. She's just a voice actress. But um, they do have to prepare, I guess, for the most part. I'm sure they have some kind of script. They read the script, and they try to get a feel of what the character is. But when it comes to changes, that's not up to her. That's to the... Uh, the writers and stuff like that. Um, sometimes they'll do it on the spot where like she'll read a line and they're like, you know, you know what, let's change it to this. But she has no input for the most part. She, all she does is voice. So, and I keep trying to put that in your mind of she is just the voice because of this. These are tweets that Laura Bailey has gotten. I'm going to kill you because you blank in The Last of Us Part 2. I'm going to find where you live and slaughter you for what you did blank. Mark my fucking words. Another lovely person. I will stab you. Just want to say you should die, bitch. Fuck you. You ruined it. I hope your parents die by a hard cancer for killing my blank blank. I will find you and kill your kid for that. Just wait for that. Fuck you, dumb Abby bitch. Go fuck yourself. She voiced a character. She didn't create Abby. She didn't create the concept of Abby. She didn't have anything to do with Abby apart from the voice. And yet, these assholes are going after... And these aren't just... Oh, well, you're just, you're misinterpreting, you know, I will stab you, or, uh, 
I want I, I will find you and kill your kid for that just wait for that there's no other way to interpret there is no other way because she voiced a character this person this beautiful specimen of a female voiced this character who has bitch tits by the way and people were like what are bitch tits well you know a uh, uh, female so when you work out what happens you burn fat what are tits made of what comprises of fat so when you have apparently like her backstory is you know she was trained she trained a lot she worked out a lot to get the kind of body she has so what happens when you work out you burn fat here for females that's all it is is fat so when they work out they start to shrink and then you get a female with a man chest which on a female they're called bitch tits <laughs> but um yeah and her the the model for the body of Abby was someone else it wasn't Laura Bailey because Laura Bailey is uh, you can see she's rather slim not muscular uh, rather slim so Abby had a um, body model essentially and um, that's what she's based off of and the person the model is very beautiful as well maybe big and fit but she's very beautiful um, so Abby this is the voice not the model, not the writer, had nothing to do with Abby. And she's getting these kinds of tweets. Now, am I a fan of the whole thing of what, what, what like what Neil Cuffman's trying to do, the you know, trying to defend and saying it's everyone else? No. But these people are the ones that make him say stuff like that. These are the people who give everyone else a bad name. These are the ones who are <laughs> not very good gamers. In fact, I, I I actually wonder how many of these people actually finished the game or even started it. I mean, they would have to know that Laura Bailey was voicing Abby, but that's common knowledge. You can look that up. Laura Bailey, IMBD, Last of Us Part 2, Abby, boo. <laughs> now you know who voiced her. But it's people like this that give Neil Cuckman his freaking ammo to use against every other person. These guys right here. These are horrible fucking people. I don't condone this. I don't approve of this. If you're one of those people who are going to a voice actor and threatening them for doing their job, you are part of the problem. And people can say, he's just simping for her, blah, blah, blah. First off, she's a voice actor. Second, violence against the person doing their job is wrong. So no, there's no simping for anyone. This is a person who's paid to do a job, who did her job, and these people think it's okay to attack her and threaten her because they don't like the character. Well, guess what? This person had nothing to do with the character. She is just the voice. She is just the voice of this. Neil Cuckman should be the one you go after. The people at Naughty Dog are the ones you need to go after. And when I say go after, I mean verbally and non-violent. Don't say, I'm going to fucking kill you, you stupid piece of... No. Criticize them constructively. Say, I don't like this character because... Or, this character was ruined because... Don't... If you're going to criticize, it needs to be intelligent. Don't just say, I don't like the character because she's a fucking bitch and blah, blah, blah. No. You need to have a legit reason for why you don't like this character. I mean, people are saying, oh, she's one of the best characters of, you know, best written character. No. It's like revenge. Uh, a character who seeks revenge for most of the game, that's not a good, well-written character. It's not a good written character. Um, and he's like, oh, he's strong females. And then that's what the other side. They're like, oh, you're just afraid of strong females. And it's like, no. We have no problem with strong females when they're well written. <laughs> so, but 
this is a character and a video game character. This is not a real person. Not a real person. So I don't know why people are getting that fucking upset about it. This is a fake, uh, a fake person. This is computer generated. This is something that someone sat on the computer and they modeled. There's a rig under there and little points where the body can move and they had to have people in suits with little dots so that they can capture their face and all that. This is not a real person. This is not a real person. What you're doing is going after a real person who had nothing to do with the fake person apart from voicing. These people are terrible fucking human beings. If you know these people, if you know anyone who does this, you report them. It's people like this that bring a bad name to the gaming community. They already look at the gaming community like we're all like this. Like we're all a bunch of evil, uh, racist, misogynistic uh, neckbeards who are like, Ugh, we don't like girls in video games. <laughs> we don't like strong females. No. No. These are the people who give us a bad name. Just like how I said with um, when I talk about YouTube creators who do stupid shit and then suddenly everyone thinks YouTube is like that where it's like, oh, well, everyone must be doing this. No. No. <laughs> We're not all like this. Uh, so report them. The only way... I mean, it's not going to stop. It's never going to actually stop. But you report them. Because this is, I mean, I will find you and I will kill your kid. That is a direct threat. That is a direct threat, whether they mean it or not. That is a threat. So, remember kids, this is a fake person that you're being outraged about. This is a very real person who is just doing the job she signed up for. And you are going after her with violent tweets and bombarding her with violence because you don't like the voice or because you don't like the character that she played. A fake, computer-generated character in a video game. So, I'll leave you with that. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, I mean, <laughs> there's really no justification for going after someone for doing their fucking job. But, you know, there's always those idiots for, well, she knew what she was getting into, and she could have easily not done it, and <laughs> or, I don't care if she's just the voice, she was part of the character, and that means she's just as fa at fault as anyone else is, and she deserves everything she gets. <laughs> I don't know. People always do mental gymnastics to fucking justify attacking someone but um if you don't like the game that's fine if you don't like the uh, character of Abby that's fine I don't like her either but I'm not gonna go and fucking attack the voice actress with fucking violence just because I don't like the character it just it doesn't happen like that you have to be constructive you have to be mature you have to provide actual evidence why you don't like the character. But, like I said, what do you guys think? Let me know below. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Actually, let me end. Let me end. Let's write that. Real person, people. Real person who is just doing her job. Okay? So, anyways, that's, that's it for me. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.